I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, we will see one of the important information that is required for all the ICR registration candidates. So this video will be very very useful to all the candidates. We will see step by step explanation with regard to this. If you are new to our channel, subscribe our channel and then you can share this video to all our friends. It will be useful for all the students those who are going to participate in ICER counseling. You go to icerexam.net website. In icerexam.net website, when we see in the left side, there will be the applicant login. So you click on that one. Next, it will move to the next page. In the next page, you can give your application number, next to login ID, password, next to security code, and finally, you can log into this. After that, you can able to see another two important things that is print rank card, editor update qualification details. In the print rank card, you can get your rank card printed. This is one of the good information. Next, you want to edit or update your qualification details. So, you have to edit this one. In some places it may show it your qualifying degree is not eligible. So at that place you can edit this and finally you can edit all the your qualification details such as UG marks in previous time at the time of application you may have given your only 5 or 6 semester marks. So you have to update your OGPNO and in down they will give one declaration you have to check that or you have to tick that box and you have to update your qualification there one pop up window will open you have to click on ok but before that you have to go through once thoroughly so you do this in desktop mode or in the system only then in the next page there will be you it will show all the details regarding to your qualification next there will be some of the in red color so you clearly read that one because it is very very important so this one we have explained clearly in video that we have given previously or on yesterday if your college is not icr accredited then you are not eligible for icr so this is one of the important thing you have to keep in your mind please do this in very very safe manner because they will give only one time choice for this editing of qualification so you keep or you do this in desktop mode in first box second box there will be give some they will give some information you should keep all in a security mode then if the you should read this counseling brochure then you should be well eligible for the eligibility criteria then you should be aware of the last date of registration and some other things they will give many of the important things so you have to check that box or you have to tick that box and you have to pay the counseling fees registration that is it is a non-refundable and you have to lock the choices within a given time if you are not locking the choices it will be locked automatically so they have given many of the important criteria here so you have to tick all these things and you should be aware of the paying the non-refundable 10,000 rupee CTAC acceptance fees at the time of ICR choice filling so next you have to select all these things and you have to understand everything and finally you can go for locking of the qualifying exam but before this you have to once again you have to go through this thoroughly because they will give only one set time so you have to lock this uh, and you have to continue this one actually i am taking this video from the video that i have given last year so this is somewhat first you please adjust to this one in the next page they will give the qualifying examination degree program and the selection graduation type everything you have to select this accordingly and the master's type or master's degree you have to select the degree that you have qualified and a master's degree what is the master degree and next the university from which you have qualified you have to select that one if your university name is not here i think so you have to give in others but i don't know whether others option is present this time or not so after that you have to tick this box that we have explained previously and in the previous video also so you have to select this one and after reading once again going through this thoroughly you can submit this form and after this one this pop-up window will open and after this you can go to this payment of counseling fees in the payment of counseling fees you have to click on this pay counseling fee details then you have to pay this 500 rupee non-refundable amount and they have given here if your amount has been detected within one hour or after a some time you have to log in and you can do verification so you no need to pay any amount immediately uh, next you can go to your payment section in the payment section you can pay with some rupee card this is one of the best option like that they have given so you can do with this type of uh, things and after the success of the transaction you can continue with the same 
and you can again you can go to this home page after this again you can log in and you can edit your choice filling or you can edit your preferences so i hope this video will be very useful to all the candidates so you can again log in with your application number and your password and once if it is asked to change your password you please change your password that it may be required for some time and you have to keep everything in a security manner and you try to fill the choices within the given time and you can share this video to some of the friends those who are in need thank you